Welcome back YouTube, it's Robert Hall, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about Godox's new LED light stick, the LC500. As always, if you end up enjoying this video, please hit that like button, and if you wanna see more of my videos, consider subscribing. So the stick format LED has grown in popularity the last few years as they've begun getting more powerful, and they're just a really portable option for on-the-go lighting. They're slim, they pack up really nicely, you can hold it, you can have your photo assistant, position it just how you want. They're an all-around pretty efficient lighting tool. Honestly, I'm not sure if they're more popular because of their lighting potential or because it's the closest thing that you can buy to a real lightsaber. Regardless, this is Godox's first attempt at making an LED in the stick format and this one's going to sell for $189. Just so you guys know, this is not a review. I haven't had it long enough to review it, I just wanted to give you guys a first look, a peep at what it's all about. I'll definitely be testing out the color stability and getting a little bit more in depth as I've had it a little bit longer. It's really simple, it comes in a padded case and it comes with a remote and a power cable, AC adapter that is both used for charging it or for powering it long term. There's a small display that is dark with bright letters, it has awesome readability, and at all times it shows the power level, the battery level, the color mode, as well as the radio group and channel. There's a small control area with only five buttons on it, a power button for turning it on and off, a mode button for changing the color temperature, a plus and a minus for controlling the power level, and a button for controlling the group and channel so you can sync it up to the remote, which has all the same control. Now you can see on it there are 256 LEDs, but once you turn it on, you can't really see the LEDs because it goes through this little diffused plastic to try to make it more like one light source. Wait. Did I say 256 LEDs? There's actually a whole nother 256 on the opposite side. You can see these ones are a little bit warmer. So what Godox did, instead of mixing this and having a bicolor single panel of LEDs, you have two completely separate ones of both color temperatures. So you have daylight balance on one side and tungsten balance on the other. And of course, more LEDs of one color has a big benefit when it comes to power, which is something that these LED sticks typically lack. You see, other LED sticks have one panel of lights that is split between two different colors of LEDs, which means when you're at either end of the spectrum, either all the way down at its warmest tungsten temperature or all the way up at its coolest daylight temperature, then you're only getting half of the maximum power that the device is capable of producing. And if you do want the most power out of it, then you have to use something in between like around 43, 4400 Kelvin, which doesn't exist in natural environments or with artificial light really. So with the Godox LC500 having a full panel of each of those LED temperatures, you can draw the maximum power from the battery with either of those color temperatures. Which means you get a brighter LED stick that is still capable of shooting in the two most common color temperatures that you find when shooting photography. It also comes with a reversible pair of barn doors which you can use to shape the lighting from either LED panel. Now, I'm not gonna kid you and say that this has any business replacing a flash. But when used close to a subject or in a low light environment, you definitely have a pretty flexible lighting tool. All right, there's a first look. We'll get into color quality and power details in a later review. But for now, I just wanna show you my first time using this. I went to downtown Detroit with my buddy Jake and we did some night portraits and just tried to see how this would blend with the interesting ambient of a night city. What's up guys, we are in the Belt Detroit. We're kind of on the hunt for some interesting outdoor light probably a little bit noisy out here. What I like about this spot is that there's a lot of interesting light that we can use and kind of mix this and it's all very low light. So this is probably where it's most ideal because there's not a lot of ambient light to compete with where you might want to use flash instead. So we're going to play around with this as a key light, as a rim light and see how it ties in with the other lighting that we have in this environment. And just so you guys know, we're using the Sony A7R Mark III. Uh, I'm switching between the 85 millimeter 1.8 and the Samyang 35 millimeter 1.4. All right guys, we got a bearded model, we got a prism, we got a wide aperture prime, we got background lights that'll be bokeh. This is like the hipster quadrifecta. Quadru 
Ooh, there it is. I can't even see. There it is. All right, so if you guys see, I just used the barn doors and I got like a very, very tight beam of light on his face. Like it's not even projecting across his entire face. It's only bright on like a very tiny portion, which is a really cool look to the shot. What's nice is that it doesn't overpower that blue that's coming in on the left side of his face. And now I just switched to daylight, so we're gonna go up to 5,500. So now all our background is more of an orangish color, and which plays really nice with that blue that's coming in. Yeah, looking right there. All right guys, so now I'm gonna switch the purpose. I wanna try the key light as that blue light that's coming from this I don't know, some emergency garbage on the wall. I don't know why it's a bright blue light, but we're gonna use that. So now I'm gonna repurpose this. So now it's acting as a hair light, just enough to provide some separation on his shoulder. But I wanna back it off a little bit. So I'm gonna jack that power up a bit, back it off. That way it's not in my photo. Look at my chest. Hit the cigarette. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this first look at the Godox LC500. Leave a like if you did, comment below with any questions, and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. Until next time, keep on shooting YouTube.